conversation going now. Control print is on our radar. It was a good performance by the company in the quarter as it saw healthy growth across revenue as well as profit, although margin uh, did witness a slight dip. We have uh, Shiv Kabra, who is the director of Control Print, joining in now to discuss their Q2 performance. Mr. Kabra, hi, welcome to the show. If you could just start with the situation with regards to the chip availability, has that improved? Where does it stand right now? So overall, I think uh, there's no supply chain issues anymore or no, no major supply chain issues. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, could you tell us what led to the margin decline on a year-on-year -year basis? According to our calculation, the margins have come in at 23.6% versus 24.8% same time a year ago. The reason for that and what can you guide on the margin front? What could H2 margins look like for the company? And even on the top line, if you want to give us a number, you ended H1 with revenues of 170 crore. Uh, what could H2 look like? So both on revenues and margins. So obviously we are sort of satisfied with our performance in the first two quarters. It's been steady. Uh, obviously it depends on the broader market because we are more of a B two B, and you know more of a nuts and bolts sort of supply to the packaging industry, and uh, you know it depends on what their sales are. But uh, if everything continues as it is, then obviously we should see a similar sort of uh, second half as what we've seen in the first half. Uh, as far as margins go, you know, there's some quarter-to-quarter -quarter fluctuations. Uh, again, for our size of company, it's, I don't think it's really relevant. Uh, maybe it could be looked at more on an annual basis. But there's no drop in margins. There's no uh, change in pricing uh, downwards. Uh, like, if sometimes it could be, uh, you know, something increases in cost, it could be uh, maybe some high-cost inventory from the COVID time that we've picked up that's working its way through. Okay. Uh, just to sort of get some numbers with regards to the guidance, 400 crores is what you had guided for in terms of standalone revenue is probably what you'll achieve by 2025. Uh, is that still on track? It, it depends, of course, on how the overall market is. But uh, so far, everything seems fine for that on a standalone basis. And margins of around 25% to be achieved by 2025? So uh, normally we maintain our gross margins and our overall margins. What happens is it, the fluctuations happen depending on how much we're investing in other types of businesses that we're trying to grow. So the standalone business uh, in the coding and marking would maintain its margins. That wouldn't change. What would, could happen is some of that money might be being used for uh, development projects in some of the other uh, industries and applications that we're trying to develop. So... Yeah, the core remains the same, but then the, the final result can be different. And I can't say that as of right now, what we're gonna, what our investment plans are going to be like a year and a half from now. Can you tell us what the investment plans are for the next 12 months? So we don't, we don't need any capex. Uh, obviously, we're looking at uh, certain you know, R&D projects, which we continue. I don't think that's going to increase greatly, but uh, you know, those costs have been, been consistently increasing them. Uh, but uh, what we might look at is some sort of technology investments or acquisitions, uh, you know, maybe some other types of uh, M&A. We'll see about that. Otherwise, uh, you know, it's just business as usual. Okay. Uh, what was the um, market growth, the industry growth in the quarter gone by? I just want to understand whether you've grown faster than the market this time. And what would your market share improve to? I think the last time you indicated, it was close to about 19%. So that's in the organized in the big four. Uh, we, are, we are about 19%. So the overall market could be, say, between 1750 to 1800 crores in the year gone by. And we were 291 on a standalone basis. Uh, this year, I'm expecting the market to be like, you know, about 10 to 12% goes between 1950 and 2000. And obviously, uh, we'll see where we end up. All our competitors are private companies, so we only get their data, uh, like, you know, in, in, say, September, October of this year. But, of course, from our market intelligence, we have an idea of how things are. But, like I said, at, at the end of the year, we'll, we'll sort of know precisely where we stand in terms of market share. Okay, all right. Could you leave us with your cash balance on the books, um, as well as what would your dividend payout look like? Uh, you did have a buyback, which was announced. 
So considering all those factors, can you leave us with uh, the dividend payout estimate as well as the updated cash in books? So I think we just published our balance sheet. I, I think it was somewhere between 60 and 70. But I don't have that number offhand with me, uh, unfortunately, but I'll have to check. Uh, so that's sort of what the cash in bank was. Uh, we are continuing with our dividends. We're already paying some dividends. I can't say offhand how exactly we're going to use our cash balance. Of course, we'll reward our shareholders. We did a buyback. That option is now off the table for at least another, I don't know, uh, 10 months or a year or something. So uh, it, it, that, that's a board of directors call how they want to return cash to the shareholders. You know, I can't give an exact comment on that. And that might also depend on what sort of uh, opportunities we have in m and terms that come in front of us. Okay. Thank you uh, for joining in. Out of time in the show now. Uh, congratulations on a good set of numbers.